Greetings, my friends. I am Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here back in TNO, playing as a sovereignty of Western Russia. Last time, we took out the Southern Urals, and we are now at war with the Ural Military District, which should be a good, fun time as long as we can, you know, win our battles, which we seem to be doing right now, very well against these enemy tanks. Uh, let's see, and we can kind of pierce them. At least one of our divisions can pierce the enemies, and we did a really great job right there. Nice. I don't want to be overly confident in saying that we can win any battle, but uh, it seems like we were doing pretty well right there. Can we win here, maybe? No. Oh, yes. Maybe? Maybe not? Yes? Yes? Can we pierce our tanks? That is big sadness when we can pierce tanks that easily. Oh yeah, so they're all coming, coming through here as well. U.S.-Japanese talks begin. Can the Pacific live up to its name? Oh. We got a lot of political power too, so kind of cool. We do want to attack here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and help them out. We want to at least maybe try to encircle one division. That'd be kind of cool. And it seems like we can do a pretty good job against them. Over here, we're doing a very good job as well. Uh, good push in. So maybe we can encircle a couple more guys. Can we at least get one encirclement here? One encirclement, please. That would be delightful. And you help out the attack. Let's see what we can do. Uh, they're, throwing, they're throwing in more divisions here. That's uh, a good job, guys. Good job. Can we encircle that one guy? Just one guy? Yes, we can. Uh, one infantry division led by nobody, because no one cares about this person. Uh, oh, they're dead. Oh, that was fast. Very nice. Good job, guys. Cool. If we need to, go ahead and rearrange the front line, because uh, I'm not too used to warfare yet in this this mod, but I'm enjoying it for what it is so far, and Yemen's having a bad time, which is not bad for us, I guess. We could probably attack there and move up this way, Let's see. or go down this way. Maybe we'll try to get a bigger encirclement this time. Encircle these two tiles. That sounds like fun. Civil war erupts, erupts in Yemen. Instability in the Middle East. How strange. Yeah, Yemen. Totally peaceful country up until this day. Totally peaceful. No problems. No issues whatsoever. Go ahead and move in there if you can. Take out that tank. And then we'll see what happens. Send one guy in here too. That'll be good. Yeah, these guys can't really stand up to us, which is great. The other divisions they're sending in probably also can't stand up to us, which is good. We do have to keep an eye on our budget because uh, we are in a little bit of debt. Only a billion dollars in debt, so I'm not too worried about that, actually. And we do get quite a bit of growth here, so not too bad. Oh, yep, yeah, let them attack us. Let's see. We've suffered 4,000, 4,600. We've killed off 30,000. Not bad so far. Not bad. Uh, you guys definitely help out here. You guys get over here as well. Ah, Imperial Russian Navy. Great. So, uh, we did that. We did that. We did all this on the left. We had all the stuff in the middle. We got this stuff to do, and we've done this as well. So... The Imperial Air Service, Special Forces, let's see this one, Expand Special Forces. As our military assets go, our Special Forces rank highly. Our reclamation of Western Russia would have been at multiple degrees harder had we not invested in smaller, more specialized units to hit our enemies where it would hurt the most. The bridge burners were invaluable in cutting off the advances and retreats of the enemy, while the Imperial Guard was a phenomenal elite force when deployed into high-risk situations. Our generals have begun to consider other specialized units we could deploy as we expand further into Russia, with units devoted to mountain and winter combat being preliminary ideas. As our regular conscripted numbers grow in preparation for the eventual reclamation of Russia, so too must our special forces units. While the great Imperial Army forges ahead into the east, our most elite units, Insurrection Oman, if you want to read this, go right ahead. Uh, let's see. Ooh, 25 cents. That's kind of, uh, kind of cheap. Uh, or just head in the east. Our most of the will serve at the front lines doing the tense, specialized work needed of them. Good. And we went down here too. Good. I love winning, right? Hey. D Oman, Dufar, not having a good time. Better recon? Why not? And let's get in there so we can reorganize ourselves and maybe begin to encircle some guys. Here and there, of course. Here and there. Come on, get them out. Good, 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 good. You guys are staying still, not much is going on, that is good. They re they really don't like my motorized. Which is fine, they don't have to like them. Just embrace them. There's quite a few divisions there, that's not good. They're not taking anywhere else, which kind of sucks. I kind of want to attack here though, see what happens. Because you guys definitely should be able to help out, then you guys should definitely be able to help out. Now we might not be able to win since they do have three divisions and they do have a fort here, but never mind. It seems like we're doing pretty, pretty darn well, I'm not going to lie, that's pretty darn good. Come on, get in there, come on. Because we want to come in here next. But we're going to wait before we get we move on. Ooh, encourage political thoughts. Let's see. More stability? Sure. Rise of other stuff will go down. Uh, add more debt. I really don't really need to do that one, so. Come on, get those guys in there. Oh, we're getting attacked. Nice. Can they pierce us? Well, let's see. Uh, most of the divisions cannot, it looks like. But they can a little bit. But as long as we can defend well, that's all that really matters. You guys are looking extremely weak. I like to see. Good. Oh, we actually were defeated here. That's not good. Kick him back out. 
Oh, why are you attacking you? Oh, they were attacking us down here too, huh? Okay. Interesting to see. War in a war, there are no winners or losers, only victims. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. So, another Spanish Civil War. Okay, we can't actually win here. That's not good. Uh, you guys. If you guys can help out, that'd be great. Yep, that's looking nice. Looking pretty darn nice. Head in here as well, if you can. And you guys head in here as well. See what you can do. Encircle these guys, destroy them. Losses. 17,000 versus 90,000. That's not enough. Good. Help them out as well, if you can. Don't let these guys move. That'd be very bad. Yeah, you can't move or do anything about that. That's okay. Are we moving in? Yes, we are. Keep one of the tanks here, though. Just in case. Cool. Not bad. Pretty good so far. How is Spain looking? Oh my gosh. This is worse than normal. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a huge Gibraltar. Wow. Oh, they still want to beat us up down here. That's not good. They continue to beat us up. How strong are these guys? They can't be that strong, can they? They have 58,000. They have 55 divisions. That's actually more than us. That's why we got to encircle these guys and kill them off. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. <sighs> You're doing a great job. That's why we got to encircle them. Good. Hey, we did it. There we go. Hey, we did it. Hey, we did it. Just help them out here. Kill them off immediately because we need to kill them off. Please don't die. Expand the special forces. Imperial Russian Air Service. Oops, let me go ahead and read that one. Cool. So, the fact that we've been able to maintain a small supply of aircraft in the environment that we found ourselves in is a small miracle in itself. Now that our position here in the West is at least marginally more stable, we should invest in more formalized military air apparatus to dominate the skies of Russia. Every man with the willingness to the, and the ability to fly for his country must be afforded the opportunity by our state. The foundation of the Imperial Russian Air Service will serve as a message to every man and woman across Russia that the skies belong to the Emperor as much as, as any speck of dirt on land or drop of water in the sea. With land, air, and sea under the firm control of the Imperial ar Military Arms, no petty socialists or fascists will be able to contest our rightful Russian reclamation. Good. Hopefully we can actually win here. As they are trying to beat the snot out of our soldiers. Which really sucks. Alright, so you want to attack me? As you look very weak yourself, I'm going to go say, okay. Cool. Defend. Come back down here. U.S.-Japanese treaty signed. The winds change in the Pacific. Good for them. Help them out too. Oh, all these divisions. That's four plus five is usually nine. So... Good. Let them die. Wait, they broke... Th no. No. Hell no. Hell no. No, you're gonna die here. Crisis in Nanjing? Well, you know, it seems pretty normal to me. You hold. We can just a little bit. Don't let them, don't let them move. I still want to tickle those guys. Good. Kill them off. You have no... You can't do anything but kill them off right now. Good. Thank God. Jesus. Oh. Don't let them do that, man. Don't let them do that again. There you go. Now defend. Smart academic base. Hey, look! We get more, uh, smarter people here. Towards the future. Great! Recon companies. Great. That'll help us out. We probably need to get this. It's 170 days ahead, though. Better engineers. Do we have engineers on our soldiers? We should, right? Yeah, we do. These guys are looking not too bad. I would like to make them 40 combo with, but we don't have the money for that. Uh, how's this looking? We can maybe pay off debt. No, we cannot. We have no extra money for now. That's fine. Yeah, you guys are a bunch of jerks. Hey, we cut off nine divisions, though. That's pretty good. And they only have 3,000 manpower left, which is not bad. Are they attacking anywhere else? Yes, they are. Have they broken anywhere else? No, they have not, which is good. Let our guys get organized, and then we'll realign these uh, guys down here. I'm going straight for the capital next. One, two, th one, two, three, four. Something like that, maybe. We'll see what happens. I might actually be able to push these guys in. Actually, that'd probably be a good idea to do so right now, maybe. I can use you guys as kind of a... Uh, supporter here, so we can really get these guys cut off. Nice. There you go. Actually, we can maybe cut off, just cut off the capital. Yeah, we might try that, actually. Seriously, guys? Can you not move? Come on, you gotta get in there quick, more quickly than that. Yeah, we're gonna cut off the capital from everyone else. That's actually a really good goal. No, hold. I don't want you to move that way. Good. Good, good. That's all you need. These two provinces. These two tiles. Alright. So, you know what? At least this is all trending up, which is awesome, awesome, awesome to see. I mean, our output is pretty good. We need more ba main battle tanks and support equipment, but that's pretty much it. Ooh, nice. Let's see. APCs are looking pretty good. We need to actually use those, though. APCs. Battle tanks. Go and do that up there. 
horizontal line. We could keep doing that. It is 69 right now, so very nice. Uh, engineering. Uh, not quite there yet. Almost. Almost. Light aircraft. Fighters. We're getting that one. More range could be pretty useful. Oh, man. We were running out of manpower. That is not good. Get over there. Come on. Move, 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 move. We don't have time to horse around. Cool. But, so now, a new generation of officers. That looks pretty good. Updating our designs. Oh, let's get this one. So, the Izhevsk mechanical plant is unquestionably going to be a massive factor in our manufacturing capabilities going forward into our acclimation of Russia. After the German terror bombings, nowhere in Western Russia has a phenomenal infrastructure base for industry, but the Izmek can serve as an example for industrial expansion going forward if the right amount of investment is put into its expansion and maintenance. With the expansion of the plant, we will finally be able to throw aside the shortages, shortages of arms and munition that have been characterized militaries of the shattered Russian Empire. Finally, we will be able to put a rifle into the hands of every good man willing to put his life on the line for the Emperor on the battlefield. Good. Alright, so, do we have... Oh my god, you guys take forever to move. Three, two, we have to move now. Take you and then go that way. We're literally just going to cut off the capital and then push and kill everyone else off first and then have a good time doing that. Let's get through that. And you guys do that too. And then you guys are going to do sort of the same thing. Definitely need more support equipment though. Holy cow. Good. Tanks got in there. Good, you're going to hold. The capital's been cut off. Here's what we're going to do. Because the capital's been cut off, they're not going to get any more supplies. You guys have to make sure that these guys cannot get anywhere else. Reorganize everyone and move around. If these guys take some territory around like this tile, that's kind of fine. I don't really care too much. Even though we could really use another battle tank right now. Oof. Come on. What was that? Encourage. Yes, return them. They're just with their debt, but whatever. It's fine for now. Oh, death of President Ho Chi Minh. Oh god, a tragic day. Well, depends on who you ask, I guess. Alright, so everyone's gonna get realigned. That's really fine. They should be slowly starving for supplies at this point now. Good. Good. Especially if we take more supply points, victory points. Come on. Good, good. It does cost us quite a bit of soldiers to do this, which I don't like. I will lower this by one, so we can save just a little bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit more manpower. Ghost Guards, eh, we'll see what happens with those guys. Oh, there goes the Iberian government. Zalus, arms plan captured. Count your bullets and hold, keep a hold of your gun. Great. Which means you took that away from them, which is awesome. How are they not taking any more supply issues? Having any more supply issues? Well, maybe that was all for not. If that's the case, go ahead and kill the capital then. Help them out. Might as well. Oh, cool. Alright, next up, updating our designs. Techn technology plods along at a slightly, slightly slower pace here on Russian soil. We've always seen the outsiders as the edge of Europe and somewhat backwards people. Today we face more challenges as technological progress than ever we ever have as a nation. With the reclamation of the western extremes of Russia that are not occupied by collaborators, we've opened up opportunities to try and mend the divide that Russians have always expected or experienced with the rest of the world's technological progress. In these times of war, we must heavily invest in new designs for weapons and armored vehicles as they are instruments that will be used to restore Russia to her former glory under Emperor Vlad III. Our base, our best machinists are already pitching ideas to the military staff for more advanced weapons, some that already exist out in the world, and some brand new and more ambitious designs. Time will tell if their ideas will prove good for implementation. Alright, so we're taking the capital. At this point, I'm going to have you guys just cut these guys off. It's only three divisions, but three more divisions than nothing. Uh, support weapons three, that's good. We've taken quite a few losses. They've taken over a third of a million, which is not bad. Let's see, you guys did well. You guys did that. Get over here. Cool. Go ahead and push down this way. You should have really not too many problems doing that at all. And they look like they're really hurting for manpower too, so. We should get some planes. Come on. Good. It's only three divisions and they're pretty weak already, but whatever. Come on, kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. How much up are they? I would say they're probably not that far. Yeah, they're not that far to capitulate, which sucks, but whatever. Oh, actually, that, that's our next capital. Great. Go ahead and do this, then. You come here. Two, three. There you go. That's all you need. Actually, you're already there. Good. Go and do that, and then take you off, and then go there, and then take you off, and go there. And I'm going to take you, and you're going to go all the way right there. Good luck. You're going to need it. Nice. Alright, no, 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 no. Go this way. Go this way. There you go. That's better. 
Come on, get in, get in, get in. You should be able to do this pretty easily. They're pretty weak already. Cut these guys off, and I'll kill them all down here. Come on. Order collapses in Egypt. Is this the beginning of something larger? Let's hope so. Look at zero as well. We have none. Cool. We cut everyone off. I'm going to have you guys come here immediately. Go and take the capital if we can. Let's do that as well. Help them out, help them out. Good, slink around, take the capital. Viral autom automotive plant captured. If you want to read this, go right ahead. Onwards, countrymen. That looks really good for us. Good, we've taken the two capitals. That would have been good for them, but whatever. Actually, you just kind of stay there. Cool. The world is falling apart, and we love it. Yeah, no, get rid of those guys. There you go. Pretty good thus far. Pretty good. Um, the next place plays for an encirclement. Uh, honestly, they should be they should be basically dead at this point. Like seriously, come on, man. I'd love to just drive across, but we don't have the tanks for them. Mm hmm. We come here. One, two, three, or one, two, three, four, something like that, maybe. We could try a general attack. How many divisions do they have? Thirty-one. Updating our designs. Actually, we have forty-three. So that's not too bad. But a new generation of officers loyal to the or old order of Russia, where emperors guided the lives of the subjects until very recently was a rare quality. This is the chief reason that our military command is so rife with aged men. These men have served their emperor with our will to be sure, but we must ensure a future for every branch of the imperial military, and thus we must, must take advantage of the capable young men who hold the emperor in their hearts by ensuring them a path to their own commander, commands. As their generals age into a long-deserved rest and retirement, we must ensure that there is an intelligent and resourceful officer available to fill the space left by the departures of, from command. The faces may change, but the imperial army will be an eternal part of our glorious state. Cool. Come on, I don't want to keep having to do resistance stuff here because it sucks so much. Why are the why are you so slow compared to everyone else? Like, what do you have on your template? Oh, you're like no, you garbage tier, huh? You straight garbage tier. Motorized support. We need more support equipment, actually. Even more support equipment. Wow, that's pretty bad. Not gonna lie, that's pretty bad. Mm, get up to eight then. What are we even building? We need more military factories. Uh, 100, and then 100. There you go. See what we can do about that. Because I'm not going to deal with pretty weak things like this. I don't mind making more motorized, but we'll probably make APCs eventually. Is there anything here? Yeah, give them some of that. Give them some, uh, we don't even have capabilities of doing this motorized. It's fine. Just do it anyways. That'll help them out a little bit. Cool. Uh, might as well do that one. And plane wise, where is it? Oh, it was outdated. Cass. New Cass. I love Cass. Cool. Actually, both can go right there. Take you off and go right there. And then take you off and go right there. If you can. Instead, though, we're going to go ahead and push up this way to help short the line a little bit more. Thank you. Infantry will do well. I'm not too worried about it at all. As they should. 69. Still 69. 69. You're not allowed to leave. Cool. Something happened. I, w I didn't read that. I just press enter. I normally just press enter. Good. Hey, there you go. Help out, help out. Crush those infantry divisions. And Toyman will be ours. And we encircled probably four divisions, maybe? Come, come on, get in there. Get the butts in there. Hold them in place. There we go. Five divisions. There we go. Looking great. And beautiful. How long are you going to take? Come on. Cool. We've taken the capital three. Oh my god, Vorkut. I'm not getting to Vorkuta, probably. How, how much? 86. At this point, we're just going to have a general attack. I'm tired of waiting. I'm, I'm honestly very tired of waiting here, so... There we go. Get everyone prepared and planned. They're looking extremely... I mean, we're not extremely strong right now because we need more support equipment, but I don't really care. 
Give us like a few days and we'll go ahead and do it all. Cool. Drop tanks. Cool. Imperial army marches forward. With all of our military staff's inner circle either co conflicted or resolved or pushed out of the everyday discourse, we finally had the opportunity to truly reform the Imperial, Imperial army into a more consolidated and modernized fighting force. The Emperor seems almost satisfied with these daily progress reports at this point. We still have a ways to go until we truly match up to our major militaries of the world, but our progress in such a short time is truly unparalleled. No longer will we use salvage equipment of the long dead Soviet Union from 20 years ago, and no more will the Imperial staff suffer or Imperial Army suffer from the bickering and deaths of the highest commanders. The Russian man is pound for pound the best soldier on the earth, and damned if we won't use our advances to prove it against those who would harm Russia's men and women. Organization, planning speed, max planning. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Any money yet? Nope. Okay, that seems very weird that we don't have enough money. But let's... Okay, whatever. Whatever. Go get that one. Uh, update equipment from production? Probably not. That's good. Alright. Get ready to go in a few seconds. Three-ish. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at uh, airplanes. Let's see, do we have any uh, World War II fighters? Cool. We only have so much manpower, so I gotta keep an eye on that. You guys, bop, bop, and come there. Do we have any other air bases that are close by? Not really. That really sucks. I'll uh, give me another 100, because other people probably can't afford it to really have better planes, because we need them on our tanks. And then Falkers, Cass, nice. Go and help out the infantry, not the tanks, just because we have so much more infantry and we can use them probably in other places first. Three, two, good enough for me. Go ahead. Why don't you guys just go, just go ball in there? We might not be, might not be able to win everywhere, but it looks like so far it's pretty good, pretty good. Do we have any upgrades? Yeah, oh, yes. Avgini, max planner, fast planner, organizer. Um, planning speed. Let's go more max planning. We'll use them probably later on when we take out the Central Siberian Federation or this Far Eastern Soviet Socialist Republic. That's probably who we're going to have to kill off next because these guys are looking pretty weak, not going to lie. These guys, though. Genrek Yagoda. International Reborn? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, we have more divisions than them already, which is awesome. Manpower wise, we have only 10,000, but they have. Okay. Um, let's go to tell. 9,000? 10,000? We have about the same. Probably has a little bit more right now. Good job, guys. And there they go, probably. Better industrial equipment? Great! More research efficiency gain, construction speed, factory output. Awesome, awesome stuff, my friends. Better research facilities? Look at that. Outdated research facilities become modern research facilities. We lose a little bit of political power, but we get more research speed. Well, go to Gulag's capture. Never again, not like this. If you would like to read this, go right ahead, my friends. Great. Re Russian reunification. Get stability, naval XP, and we will be known as the Russian Empire. That is amazing. Now it's the Russian Empire versus the Far Eastern Soviet Socialist Republics. Go ahead. This is going to suck so much. We're going to lose so much stability, but it's a necessary evil. Integrate them. Prepare for unification war after 71, and then controls all of our eastern and stick like that. That's cool. And a new focus. The Solidarist Revolution into the Atomic. Ooh. Uh, let's do this one first. So, the Tsarist government have finally embraced the program of the Solidarist movement flourishing inside the Empire, with Prime Minister Alexander S. at its head. As the original NTS envisioned in its days of exile, when its members were active across non-Bolshevik Europe, the new national revolution will be enacted based on the organization's manifesto as it is being prepared. In the newspapers and in the radios, we will spread the news of the revolution that is coming and will sweep Russia into die to due time. As soon as Empire presents itself, or the opportunity presents itself, we will also not forget to place NTS ideologues and officials in whatever positions are needed to entrench the movement and help further our goals. We cannot afford rivals challenging our power at this critical moment. Absolutely. Research. Good. Even better engineers, maybe. How about artillery? That's the light artillery that we're using. Can we get even better light artillery? Yes, please. What is this? That is... Tank artillery, I think? Oh, light SP, and that's just SP. Yeah, we don't need that stuff. We'll just get some more of that. That'd be nice. Thank you. Come again. Uh, more divisions. Great. Uh, do we eventually get the ability to go to war with maybe Kazakh Soviet Socialist Republic? Because we that's, that's a two-front war. I don't want to fight two socialist republics at the same time. I don't like that. I don't think you would like that either. And into wonders. Oh. Onto an unforeseen future, huh? Wait, do we have wonders right now? Foreign trade. General staff, automotive plant, arms plants. No, okay. Well, whatever. Money wise, we still don't have any more money. Total expenditures, total annual revenues. We could lower spending right now, but mm, I don't know about that. We might, we might lower construction spending eventually, because that's actually costing us a lot compared to military spending, but the formation of the Sok International, oh boy. Return to the other Reds. Imperial Triumph, if you want to read that, go right ahead. That's not good. 
Cool, the spiritual restoration, democracy, you know, let's go over here. Into the atomic age. For centuries, Russia has been regarded as a backwater of Western Europe. Uh, or Western world, an empty step full of peasant farmers who can never pose a threat to a civilized society. But that's all soon to change. The Americans have saying that one of their famous gunsmiths meant made all men equal. It may be true for men, but yes, for nations, the net power of the atom bomb is the only equalizer. Good. Good, good, good. It brought us to victory. Hey, our growth is 7.6. That's not too bad. Uh, when do we get paid, though? I really want to get paid. We get two, literally $2 billion in worth of deficit, which I want to get rid of now. Or at least the best possible. I mean, our GDP is almost $800 billion. That's awesome. National debt's only $2 billion. 2 .11. That's not bad. I'm really considering lowering my spending, but honestly, with this going on like this, I'm feeling kind of okay about it right now. Uh, can we actually build nuclear reactors? Oh, there they go. Oh, we probably actually can. A little bit of lag. That's okay. Well, we all know who the enemies are here at this point. And before we get too far, I do want to make sure we do build up some air bases. Happy 1970, though, my friends. Happy 1970. Definitely get one there, and make sure that's a little bit bigger. bigger. Actually, Omsk. So got, uh, you probably don't need that one. That's fine. More military factories. That is good stuff to make. 150 factories. That's not enough, though. It'll never be enough for me. Cool. Uh, you can probably go up to 9, then. Do we need anything else currently? We need more manpower. We have got over 200,000 manpower. Not bad. Not bad. Tokyo standoff. Has a 3 Empire of Japan gone mad? Yes, it has. And, oh! Oh! Military intervention. Movements on the border. We declare war on them. Oh, heck yeah. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Kazakh Soviet Republic. Hopefully they don't go to war with us, these people over here. That'd be really bad. I'm going to have you guys just pile drive down south to cut these guys completely off, if possible. Don't care about how they will end up. That's okay. Uh, let's see. How many days is this going to last? Take 50... No, let's get our soldiers on the border first before we do anything else. That'd be a good thing to do. 76% war support. Not bad. All right, guys. Get down there. Get down there. Get down there. Actually, you know what? At least one airbase here too. That'd be good. Still building up tons of infrastructure across the borders, and areas, which is nice. Oh, we're gonna have so many resources. It's so good, so good. Omsk. Cool. Up oh, and down, and up there too. Nice. All right. Give me like five more seconds, maybe, and we'll do good work. Close facilities. Monthly progress gain by one percent. Cost of more money. This was a, this this one doesn't hurt our money. Ooh, we're conquest of Ooh, yeah, let's this one. The lands of the Urals in western Siberia have been a part of the Empire for centuries since the conquest of Yermak Timofeyev in 1582. Now these lands are populated with Russians and our own brothers and sisters. These small warlords states that they formed are dividing us as a people both figuratively and literally. Once the Russians in these lands understand that we stand for them and in, in their interests, they will surely fall in line. Russia is coming ever closer to its ultimate reunification, which is good. Three. I, we can't wait that long. Two. You guys take forever to move. One, go, go, go. Actually, don't train, though. Don't train. Oh, God, no. Okay, so that's what I thought, that we would be, just go to war immediately, which is not bad. Project Molinia. Physics Institute. Uh, increases theoretical development by 15%. Oh, begin to improve. That's not bad. Uh, let's do this one. This doesn't look like it. Oh, it costs 100 million. 75 million. Uh, Budget-wise, I'm... Uh, why do I get paid? Seriously. I know deficit's going down. That's good. Nice. Oh, we're just flooding through. This is awesome. This is actually really, really good for us. Flooding, flooding, flooding through. We could cut military spending, but that really does nothing. Civilian spending, though. That's the real thing about it. Uh, it hurts our consumer goods. We'll support stability. Construction speed. I really don't want to hurt any of that, because it's, it's looking pretty awesome right now. I love building all this stuff up. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. You could build one of these up, too. Hmm. Uh, build... Well, you can only build one. Go ahead and build one if you can. That'd be fine. We did that. Good. Do that one, too. Oh, yeah. We're just going straight through them. Free conquest? Great. Uh, let's see. Secret service with... Ooh, not bad. More daily pickle power. Not bad. Let's get this one. Optimal assistance. The Russians of the Urals and Western Siberia live in a harsh and unforgiving land. The people who live in these lands have for centuries been forced to make do with what they've had. They eke out a hard and modest life. However, times are changing and new technology is continually rewriting the rules of the economy. The modern economy is a ravenous beast and will eat up anyone who's unprepared for it. These people who live in the previously isolated Ural and Western Siberian regions must be prepared for the economic realities of the modern Russian economy. Good. Alright, so we got some more stuff here. And some dockyards too, which isn't bad. Do we need anything besides planes and stuff like that, probably? Honestly, no. We're doing really, really well now. 
Um, we can get more motorized, maybe. Oh, are we making eight? Yes, we're making APCs. We probably want to get more APCs and everything. Anything more planes, please? Thank you. That would actually probably be good. If that's the case, we have some dockyards. Uh, just make some convoys. That's fine. That's all we can really afford right now. So, uh, that's the case. We could lower civilian spending budget-wise. Yeah, other expenditures. Go ahead and slash this just by a little bit. There you go. Deficit's looking much better now. Peace conference is over. We defeated the. L Wait, what happened? Why did they go back to peace? What? Wait, what happened? Are they my puppet or something now? Like, I'm okay. They're my puppet, but they're still authoritarian democracy, but they have a flag. I don't like that. They said be Hmm. Okay. I don't want them as my puppet, though. That's a thing. Uh, military mission in Kazakhstan. Kyrgyzstan. Uh, I'm a little confused right now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little confused. These guys just want to go to war with me there. Um, okay then. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I just want to pay off my debt, man. Oil crisis erupts. Nothing good can come from this. Oh, the Syrian Republic. People do not want words. They want the sound of battle. The deadly, the battle of destiny. Oh, planes. I love planes. Happy 1970, though, my friends. Happy 1970. Finally, we can do more stuff here. Max factories in a state. Not bad. Max factories. In a... That's just fun. Yeah. Civilian construction. Love civilian construction so much. Outdated. MIGs. Fighter 1s go to... Better MIGs. Could get more rubber, though. They declared war with these guys, which is my puppet, which I don't like the flag of these guys at all. Oh, we already are at war. Wait, we are? Okay, optimal assistance. Cool. Democracy, lose political power, stability, accurate output, factory output. We don't really need that right now. The Russian question. Let's get the, re the spiritual restoration. Reclaiming the throne and re reuniting Russia under the monarchy has been an incredible and difficult journey. But many in the government are beginning to realize that it's far from over. The people we rule are either apathetic to our rule or even actually actively working, working against it. What Russia needs now more than ever is morality and traditional values. Values of family, community, and loyalty towards monarchy that honest has the nation's best interests at heart. These are the values that will bind Russia and keep it whole. All right, so we're still going to probably invade. I don't, I don't know. I can't imagine that these guys are too strong. Um, yeah, I really don't know. Something seems to be popping up though. Cool. Assist our progress. Assess. They have a lot of manpower. But we have more though, and we have more divisions, which is good. And we got better artillery now, finally too. Even better artillery. Yes, please. So when we hit them, we hit them very hard. I mean, so far, we seem to be doing pretty darn well. Not too many complaints, honestly. Skirmisher, that stuff is okay. You, It's hard to see if they have upgrades or not. Infantry expert, yeah, definitely do that. Oh, he's bear of artillery, too. That's actually really good. Where are you guys at? You guys seem to be doing pretty okay. I, I mean, overall, it's not going bad. The Russian Empire is doing a pretty good job. The Middle East is kind of on fire a little bit with the general people there. Gross Germanisches Reich. Led by Ballman. Oh. What? Oh. Oil crisis. Alright, so the Falanga Spain seems to be doing pretty darn well. No template for improved empty area, whatever. Yeah, you guys are looking pretty good right there. Spiritual restoration, great! Russian question, moral purification, let's do that one. Decades of Soviet rule has turned our hearts and minds of the people against us. The revolutionary ideas remain in the populace, and more than just a few may find reason to act on them. We must embark on a campaign of decommunization de to screw the populace free of such thought. Several former prominent Communist Party leaders in our nation have been identified and we could use them for our efforts in decommunization. An assortment of men and women on the list will be brought before the public, and those who renounce their former loyalties to the Communist Party will be allowed to return as full members of society. Those who stand by the Communist past will be publicly humiliated and blacklisted. By offering a friendly hand to those who wish to jump ship, as it were, we ensure the public support and hopefully kill whatever re major remnants exist of the Communist Party. We lose stability, get more daily political power gain, and ideology drift depends for a year or so. Ah, oh, there we go. So we got not that much. But that definitely helped us with our national debt, which is nice. Piatka's doing pretty well, not gonna lie. This has been a really fun campaign. It's really interesting learning how to play this mod, and then actually doing well in it, so. Ooh, more military factories, good. Uh, really, I, I just don't know what we need. I mean, we're, we're pretty good on everything, honestly. We're doing pretty darn well. I guess, 
We could always use more guns, I suppose. Yeah, we could always use more guns. That's always good to get. Uh, building wise, what are we building? More military factories, which is fine. It's that stuff, this stuff, we get more resources. That's always nice. I guess we build up some more civilian factories as well, because, you know, civilian factories are always useful. Always useful. Thank you. Fuel's looking pretty good. It's probably a bad idea for to us to moral purification. Is always good. Come on. A little bit of lag. That's okay. I do want to see this, but we'll edit these things in just a little bit. Uh, Russia question. So, Great Russia as a name applied to the certain lands that, fo that form the core of Muscovy and later Russia for centuries. These lands stretch from the vast plains of Ukraine all the way down to the great city of P St. Petersburg. And Imperial Russia once controlled all of it. Since the collapse of the Soviet Union, these lands have fallen into the hands of the Germans. Only we, the few true Russians that remain outside of German control, have the ability to resist Germany and reclaim our homeland. We must relay this fact to the masses and soak a sense of R Great Russian nationalism. Heartlands in Ukraine and Moscow will be ours once more. Someday. We'll get there. So we do have APCs here, which is actually very nice. We're going to throw these on. We'll give them some recon as well. Motorize IFVs. Uh, actually. Uh, we could probably afford that. Yeah, that's not bad. Right? We can afford all this stuff. Maybe. Yes, please. Thank you. Ooh, what is this? Are these tanks? Or... The communization justice will be on. You want to read that? Go right ahead. I'd like to read these events, but I want to keep us moving on for a while. Oh, cool. And just justice will be done. Now, how many APCs do we have? We have 1,700. That's not bad, mate. Are we really not making any main battle tanks? Oh, they're right here. T-64s. Okay, we've got T-64s. Oh, we got 100. Oh, we don't really have enough. We really need to increase the amount of T-64s that we have currently. That'll be good. There we go. I mean, honestly, in this war, we've lost 30,000, which is quite a bit, but they've lost over 144,000 so far. So, and our industrial base is just so much better than the enemies, so I'm not feeling too bad about this. I might be feeling bad about this one, though. There you go, there you go. Nice. The invigorated uh, Sobernost. Yes. So, Sobernost was a term coined in the early 19th century when that roughly translates to spiritual community of many jointly living people. The concept was created by two prominent early Slavophiles, Ivan Kirevsky and Alexei Komiakov. The term underlies a need for cooperation amongst the various Slavic peoples of Russia, something we need now more than ever with so many of our brothers and sisters toiling under German control. We must implement this idea of cooperation amongst our all of our people in all aspects, societal and economic, if we were to ever ho to hope of one day reclaiming our former lands and liberating the people therein. Yes. Just make sure we have the best infantry possible. Looking now oh, we have even more liquid reserves. Good. Debt's going down, less than a billion. And then maybe we'll increase construction as well. Or maybe even more military spending, but I doubt it. I don't really see a point in investing more in our military spending for now. Alright, losses. 48,000 versus 187. Keep it up, guys. You're doing a pretty good job overall. Even though it says we're not doing that great of a job, but, you know, whatever. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a long way to Vladivostok, though. I'll tell you what. You guys stop doing that. You guys stop doing that. Let's reorganize our line. Wait, what the heck? Wait, what happened? Why'd you collapse it? There we go. Wait, how do I uncollapse it? What the heck? Oh, crap. I can't see it. Oh, man. How do I... Uh, I don't like that. I just want to see the generals, man. Mm hmm. Can we say foreign designs? You know what? At this point, since we have we have uh, a pretty good develop control over everything here, we're going to really ramp up production then. Oh, more division is good. Well, that's not good, since I can't see them. Oh, reinvigorated. Good, 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 good. Our August leader? Yes. In the past... Oh, I pressed the wrong button, but in the past... The Tsar was in a position of supreme authority. His word was law and his power was absolute. This gave the Tsar great power to reshape and reimagine Russia, but also gave him great opportunity to abuse his position. Under the Tsar Nicholas, millions were brought to starvation as a countryman were fled into, to, into the slaughter of the First World War in the West. The people's opinion of the Tsar was this tarnished, and even after living under dictatorial communist rule, many still prefer that... To, to the monarchy. We must reimagine the role of the Tsar in order to correct the view of that many have of the Tsardom. We must see him as a manifestation of national will, and defender of the Constitution. The new Tsar wields his power for the people, not the other way around. Good. 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 What do we have here? In intervention, that's fine. We're gonna kinda hang out for now. You guys can actually help out if you really would like to. Actually, it would probably be a very good thing. Get our guys some more planning. That actually will help us out quite a bit. Uh, Kulker stands on fire. Uh, Iraq collapses in the civil war. W whatever, man. Three. 
Oh, we're not gonna wait yet. We got we got, we still have to wait more. Just because it's so bad around here. Uh what can we Actually that's pretty good. Airbase wise. Get two air bases, maybe get some radar around here. Oh, you already have radar, that's nice. Our August leader. Good. Establish close facilities. Political investment campaign. Despite the strides we've made in integrating new territories of reforming communist party members, there still remains hardline ideologies or ideologues in many of the cities and towns in our newly reconquered territories. Much like a weed, we should, should ignore these radicals and unprotected elements. They will again try to take uh, spread amongst the populace and work towards our destruction. Only the Okrana has the capabilities to find and tear these dangerous radicals out. They will be given carte blanche in the new territories to do whatever they need to think is necessary to destroy these extremists, whether they be communists, ultranationalists, or some other ungodly ideology. Good. Good. So we got that done. Industry. Get the next one too. There you go. Benefits, 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 benefits. Now, if you do an ungodly amount of attacks this way, could you win? It looks like so far, for the most part, yes. Maybe not everywhere, especially down here, but that's okay. Hop out here first, and we'll go down there. Good. Some outdated stuff. Let's see. These are a cast. I'm going to assume this is a new cast. Good. Even better cast. No. Yes, this is the three that we want. How about even better cast? I can't imagine these guys holding up for that much longer. They have 40 to 42 divisions, which is pretty good. They're running out of manpower like us. So we'll see what happens. But overall, we're doing pretty darn well. Their divisions are looking pretty weak. Actually, their stockpile of goods. This is a caged emperor. Another headache. If you'd like to read this, go right ahead. I would love to read them, but that's just too much for me to read right now. Uh, we, can we not see the stock... Oh, there we go. The stockpile. Um, they got plenty of guns for now. Cool. Okay, Jumper, another headache. And we should do ground work for new Russia. So, preparing a political administration or government is always difficult. Not only does one have to find the right people and to fill in the various positions of the government, but one has to create the government and its various positions. In a situation, this means extending our, or creating local administrations for newly conquered territories, setting up new subdivisions of government, and most importantly, shaping the national government under the Tsar. While the Constitution limits what we can do, we still have many avenues through which we can alter or change the government. Okay. Uh, for example, we can appoint exclusively ethnic Russians positions in government or pass legislations. Uh, that further empower the national government. For any case, the groundwork for the new Russia must be created, one in which we are at the forefront. Democracy, authoritarian democracy, more stability, all that good stuff. So that's support for the empire. If you want to read this, go right ahead. Chief of the Okhrana. Good tidings from them. Good. Very good. Spending. Oh, that's a lot of deficit. That is quite a bit of deficit. We're going to have to cut back more on civilian spending, probably. Oh, that's not good. As long as we grow faster than our debt, but still, I mean, that's not bad. 52 million, but annual deficit of 11 billion? That's a lot, man. Cut civilian spending even more. There we go. How do we permanently cut civilian spending? Is there a way we can do that? I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe there's not. Oh, give it actually an uh, upgrade. Panzer expert. Good. Yes. Media personality. Oh, groundwork for the new Russia. Good. Rebuilding Russia. A strong empire. Address the uranium problem. I don't want to hurt myself too much. So, establishing closed facilities. The world is full of prying eyes who rather, whether seeking to seal our secrets or for themselves or sabotage our progress, would gain much and cost us dearly if they were to gain access to the inner workings of our newborn nuclear program. And while there are many ways to stop interlopers, there is only one proposal way to stop everyone. Important research laboratories, uranium enrichment facilities, nuclear reactors, and missile factories shall only be located in closed cities. Locations that do not officially exist within where all entry and exit is most lightly regulated by the military. In security, we shall find secrecy. Good. And we're running out of manpower, which is not good. Construction costs should probably also go down too. Uh, we could do that. Hmm. Maybe we'll see what happens. We'll see how far this campaign goes, because after this, I don't think there's very much that we can do. We took these guys out. I want to integrate them, but we probably can't. We might be able to beat Muscovine, but we'll see what happens. Because this is a lot of territory for us to conquer. We'll upgrades. Fortress Buster, Scavenger. Go in forward attack. It's probably better. There we go. Good. Losses 109,000 versus 400 some thousand. Not bad. I just don't think that these guys can keep it up. Hey, look. Encirclements are really just pinned down here. God, fighting through here really sucks. Western... Wow, this is Western Mongolia? Holy cow. We've gone very far. Support weapons 5 should give us a little bit more of an advantage, perhaps, maybe? Uh, 68 AKMs? Yeah, actually, I can't believe we haven't even gotten those yet. Hey, yes, another tank. That would come in handy quite a bit. We need to get logistic companies too, so don't forget about that. Good. I can't imagine that these guys... 32 divisions. We've killed more divisions off, which is awesome. They're out of manpower. So if we keep going, killing off our own manpower, we should do pretty okay. 
pretty okay. okay I'm going to give everyone more. That's fine. Salvage closed facilities. Found a foundation for research team. Cool. Let's do that one. So more than two decades of infighting and warlordism, not to mention Nazi occupation, of some of the Russia's most prestigious cities have given us a... Come on. I don't care about Iraq right now. I, again? Seriously? Uh, given us a 20-year uh, late start on research into nuclear physics. If we are to have any hope of achieving this in a reasonable time frame, we must begin pouring money into the universities, laboratories, and research centers we currently have. We cannot wait for Moscow's, Moscow State University to just drop into our laps. Oh, we can drop them into our laps, probably. Good. Research. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We really need to kill these guys also get some more manpower and money and stuff like that. 36% for the theor theoretical development, not bad. Money wise. We no longer have debt. And liquid reserves are doing okay. Civilian construction? Good. Good, 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 good. Max factories. Uh let's see, cap growth. Cap growth. Retention. But I don't really care about retention that much. Good. We can invest it, but that's okay. How's this looking? It's looking amazing right now. Manpower. I wish we could just get more manpower. I wish we could raise the conscription level. I don't know why we cannot. That would be so good if we could. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Oh my god, Spain, you're still falling apart. Uh, Portugal's falling apart too. The, Europe, no wonder this is the last days of Europe. Everything's falling apart. Oh my god, look at Africa. Africa fell apart. No, what happened to my next commissariat? No. Oh, look at Iraq. Look at that. Oh, Kurdistan, Iraq proper, Islamic Republic of Iraq, the Arab Republic of Iraq. How many Iraqs do you want? Irkutsk, we got to get to Irkutsk. Yeah, they're doing last stand or desperate defense or something. Because that's looking pretty bad. They have to be. All right, let's go ahead and come. Zemska democracy. The institution of Zemska, created by Tsar Alexander II in the 19th century, was lost to history with the Bolshevik Rebellion. These provincial assemblies may have been judged as too ineffective to make a change, or as irrelevant bodies at the whim of the central government, but they're capable of solving local problems that shall be restored with changes to fit the modern world, of course. The reformed Zemsto system will create legislative assemblies for every province acclaimed and integrated into the name of empire. As soon as an area is pacified, the people will have the option to choose their own representatives at the local level, once it's pacified with from warlords and bandits. Besides those barred from entering them due to opposing the monarchy, the election will be free and fair. What will change from the old institution, besides the role of the prestigious nobility being reduced, is its implementation on a national level. The same system will be used across the country in a united legislature, and the constitutional monarchy will return once again. Good. I have to read fast. Sorry about that. I just Every time, I just have to read really fast. You know what? What will happen if we just take the capital? Like, I want to know. Like, I want the capital, like, right now. Look at all these guys. They're so incredibly weak. We've beaten the snot out of these guys. And you know what? We've got no debt. Can America say that? I don't think so. Can Germany say that? I don't think so. Can Japan say that? Oh, God, no. I'm sure they've got a lot of debt. Oh, Tokyo's a demilitarized zone. Oh. And like I said in the last episode, this looks really sad. Yeah, I don't know why. Why are they a puppet? I want I want them. Reunify the motherland. That'd be good. Start east at peace. It's ideologically compatible. Prepare for your reunification war. Cool. Democracy. Lessons from Stoli Pen. Uh, you know what? I've read most of these. If you want to read this, I, I just don't feel like reading another one immediately now. So if you want to like to read the event, go right ahead. Whew. These events, I love the lore in this uh, mod, but sometimes it's just a little bit too much for me. Oh god, we're out of manpower too. We took Irkutsk, which is good. Um, go ahead and keep trying to kill them, but, you know, whatever. Oh god, don't tell me that. Oh, we don't even own Vladivostok. Man, Chuko owns it. Oh my god, we get, get all the way. Jesus, that's so far away. Please don't tell me we have to get all the way over there. We might have to be to get over there. We've killed over half a million of these guys. Just keep it up for now. I'm not too worried about that. Portuguese Provisional Republic declared war on the Galician Republic. Well, good luck with that. 5% a month. That's not bad. Are we missing anything? Battle tanks. Republican victory in Portugal. And anti-tank and battle tanks. And guns. And support. We need more of everything. Holy crap. So do that. Do that. Do that. Yeah. Go and invest one more into these. That would be good. Ah, I'll read the next one. Principles. Oh, oh that's this one. So, one of the keys to securing the stability of a new monarch monarchical state is to integrate those who are fighting to expand it. The army, at least throughout the, its upper ranks, is mostly composed of former white officers, emigrants, and generally those who have supported the imperial majesty for a long time. Only a handful of men have risen up to the top with no particular ba political background. In order to restore imperial glory, the military's upper echelons will be carefully integrated into the government. The most outspoken NTS supporters will be given promotions, while those who show no support for it will be quietly demoted. At the same time, communication between the high command and so 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 solidarist circles will increase to complete or complete 
The politicization of the military. The last thing we want is having the disloyal to guard the frontier. Yeah, that'd be pretty bad. That'd be really, really bad if we had the disloyal do that. Cool. Guys, keep it up. You've got a lot of land to cover. And you've got good feet. Or at least good enough feet. How many men have we lost? 200,000? Basically 200,000 because we still have to deal with resistance. I don't know why we can't course up as we're moving forward. I think that'd be kind of a cool mechanic to have. As we're moving forward, advance we're advancing. This is all Russian territory. We should be able to just take it over. The principles of Deregzme. Oh, sure, they don't have enough to reach the levels of the insane Bolsheviks and their complete regulation and control of the economy. A strong is always needed to complete to help the market remain strong and stable. In this environment where we are certain to struggle to catch up to other world powers and economic power, uh, the D is required to regulate the flow of money and resources. Our chief financial advisors have echoed the calls for direct directing the market and have laid out the first plans of how to achieve the best development of the Russian economy. If everything goes well, it will be booming in no time. Hey, look at that. Civilian austerity is gone. Oh, God, no. Uh, go over there. For now, I do not want a deficit. Sorry, I just can't afford that. Income, not bad. Oh, man, our GDP is growing quite awesomely. We're almost at $900 billion in terms of GDP. Yeah, military spending is like nothing. Civilian spending, why does it go up? Like, is that just because I'm building more, like, civilian factories? Maybe. The guarding, uh, guiding Strata. What Russia needs in these hundreds of towns is a leadership that is strong and capable of making swift decisions. For that reason, a rigid hierarchy needs to be established without the executive branch, the bureaucracy, and the military. The principles of class cooperation and solidarity organization was built upon the generously, will be generously applied here so that various layers will be, with differing powers and responsibilities can coexist in harmony. With the firm government overseeing the Stratas, or the leadership, we may see our next steps in policy, but it is also important to gain the trust of the people. The normal folk are, after all, the backbone of the Russian nation, and will be convinced that the strict hierarchy is the best way to govern. With that, the country will move forward into the future. We lose, stability, we lose political power, gain stability, and elite voting. Less stability and more political power gain. Which is... okay. We already have enough political power, it seems like, right now, but, you know, whatever. I'll grab that. More of the Axe Factories in the state, which is okay with me. As we're trying to build, 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 build. Which isn't bad, it's just, my gosh. Getting over there takes so flippin' long. Peace conferences, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Mm, people dying, whatever. More peace conferences? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, my Siberia is pretty much smashed. Oh, okay, they're smashed. We didn't have to go all the way. Nice! I was hoping it wouldn't take too much longer because I was starting to get a, just a little annoying. Alright, now we can integrate everyone. Good. Reunify the motherland. Get a research slot! The rise of the Russian Empire! Great! It is not surprising that the new monarchist state to arise out of Russia has authoritarian tendencies. Will Russia and glory ever return? Beautiful. As so far as he is able, a prince should stick to the path of good, but if necess necessity arise, he should know how to follow evil. Hold the empire. Oh, and so Dusk approaches a new order. Credits, thank you for playing. Is that it? Oh! Keep your eye for new content. Here and I will be continually updated with bug fixes. Is that, is that it? That might be it. Credits, thank you to everyone who created all this entire mod. Everything everyone has done. I mean, that's really awesome. This one's always over. Okay, we could keep playing. I guess we could do the guiding strata of rebuilding Russia. Um, this might be the final episode then. You know what? We're going to do something here. Something I normally don't want to do. Oh, another research slot. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking right now. I might just use console commands to see what happens. This could be the final episode, actually. Uh, actually, since we're over here, go ahead and just integrate them. <sighs> Prepare for a unification war against two. Because we we literally have all of Russia underneath us, and these, these guys are our puppets. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. This is going to be the final episode. I just want to see if... This might be the final episode. This probably will be. We're going to use console commands to complete these focuses as fast as possible to see if we get another focus tree after this. Focus dot auto complete. Rebuilding Russia, if you want to read this, go right ahead. A strong empire. If you want to read this, go right ahead. Offer of Russia. In which we'll do address the, the uranium problem. Oh, that's cool. I'm just doing this just to see if we have anything after this. Expand the Kurgan mines, if you want to read this, go right ahead. Offer of Russia, good. Sources of foreign materials, very cool. And chasing the sun. If you want to read this, we get more monthly autonomy gain, or, you know, progress gain. It's cool. Now let's take that sheet off and see if there's anything post this. If there's not, then that's cool. I'm glad we did it. All we have to do is integrate stuff, uh, advanced development phase. I mean, I chose Vyatka originally just because I knew that we wouldn't be able to go too far ahead of time. It's like 10 years worth of, of you know, 
stuff to do, which is why I specifically chose this nation. I mean, we were already at like episode 7 or 8 or something like that, so I'm not really upset at all about this. But uh, it's definitely interesting playing as a Russian miner to begin, and then basically trying to unify all of Russia, which I think is awesome. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, military invention. I mean, we can get involved, but nothing's going to happen, which is fine. Uh, I do I kind of want to wait to see how much manpower we get, but really, there's no point, I guess, really to wait. I guess that that is it for the focus tree. Cool. So that is the end of this campaign. That's actually a little quicker than I thought, but you know what? Regardless, I actually really enjoyed this as my first real campaign in TNO. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all in a different campaign where we explore and have a great time building stuff and paying off our debt. Thanks a lot for watching, and have a great rest of your day.